Later that night, after everyone had gone in for the night, Wanyan Yekova laid down and stared up at the stars and wrote, You were black. You were black. Mind, body, and soul. What makes me and my people unique? Who possess a nine DNA series unlike the rest, who possess six. My people have never considered ourselves better than the rest. You said that .it was you who confessed that. However, they seem to ride our backs about these facts. And what makes you you? A person, a human. No different from the rest. Unique in just that fact. But one thing is for certain, we have a long ride home. And we have to do it alone. My people, we have a long ride home. They took the body already, and used it, abuse it, molest it, and then abandon it. That alone works on the mind. Start believing the truth is a lie. And a lie is the truth. Started doing things to prove you are worthy. But the things you do are beneath thee. I'm talking to both you and me. Saying, it's my fault, and maybe I deserve it. That's your mind talking, that feeling of being alone, and it looks to be far gone. But the soul. Oh, that soul has the strength of ten thousand men alone. So come out of the weaker one. It'll be like opening the window of your body, opening up the window of your mind, and shine, shine on through, destroying that that haunts you. You asked why? Why did I get chosen? To get harassed? Abuse, used, molested, and tested. I'll say, because you were chosen, you were appointed, you were blessed, you were gifted, you were anointed, you were black. Aldib and his group left Las Cruces, New Mexico and came to Laguna de Bustillos. They circled the abandoned town to the northernmost region, for Joy thought of her father and didn't want to see the destruction. Once they cleared that area, they established a base of operation. Expecting desert, they were happily surprised. It was green land with rich soil, perfect for farming. Aldhib places three cubes in the lakes with booby traps. Two tents on top of the land while they strategically placed their underground campsites in a location that would benefit from any attack on the camp. Once everything was in place, they all searched for food. Some went fishing while others went hunting, and the women combined the remains of each ration's bag and made a large feast. Sitting there reading a map and eating his meal, Aldib said to the group, Even though we are about five hours away, I don't want anyone to think we all are together. We will not meet here again until after seven days, once we get the intel we need. If something happens or there is an emergency, please abandon your post and meet here. Pointing to the map of an abandoned building in Vista Hermosa as he continued, If you cannot make it here, use the communication devices, and we will do what we have to do accordingly. He studied the map and paused for a second. Now, according to Jamie, Highway 5 from Colonia Alvaro Obregón to Cuauhtémoc has heavy traffic, 24-hour transportation to and from Colonia Anahuac, where they change shift. Pointing at Axel, your speed causes dust trails, so you will only work at night. In the morning, just sit tight as the rest of us do our thing. During the day, you will rest here and hold the fort down. Observe and monitor Highway 5 and the lake. Myself, Joy and Amardad will check out this Colonia Anahuac. If you's a, you and Yom, start at Colonia Alvaro Obregón and work your way to Pizzeria La Sierra. Zubin, you and Dahlia start at Cuauhtémoc and work your way up to Pizzeria La Sierra. Taking another bite of his food, once, you all reach Pizzeria La Sierra, head back to camp. Zubin, you and Dahlia should leave at about 3 a.m., enough time to reach the town by morning. And if you's a, you and Young leave around 5 a.m. They finished discussing their plans and quickly laid down for the night. The next morning, while heading to Colonia Anahuac, Aldhib was in a good mood and had an idea and said with a smile, Okay, look, y'all gonna be my hoes and I'll be y'all pimp. Joy surprisingly said, I don't know how to act like no prostitute. Amardad said, It's easy. You have to switch really hard. Joy, with a puzzled look. Switch? Amardad smiled. You no move your hips. Aldhib looked at Amardad. Go ahead and show her. Amardad walked ahead of them a few feet, switched her hips, turned around, 
and headed back toward them. Like this, Joy said. Oh, Dot, I can do that. She walked up, barely moving her hips, and said, Like this? Aldib burst out laughing. Hell to the nah! You're not making a penny like that, and I see you got that disease they were talking about the other day. Joy, with a strange look. What disease? Aldib said. No ass at all. 